Alright guys, what the hell's cracking? And today, we're gonna talk about Team Contras 2 again. So, if you don't know, Team Contras 2 is a fork of an older version, Team Fortress 2. And, it's basically a community project, you know, to help fix bugs, improve performance, and add in quality of life features to Team Fortress 2. And the ultimate goal of that, having it pulled upstream by Valve and, you know, putting it into the modern game. So, this is just gonna be a little little quick thing okay a little quick round about what changes happen into you know this game mode or to this mod excuse me you know for example there are you know FPS boosts because if you play Team Fortress 2 you know that that game is unoptimized as hell <laughs> you damn know well and another thing cheaters can no longer blank out the chat or steal names interesting very interesting. You know, various weapon bugs and exploits, you know, being fixed and patched, like... So, you know the Iron Bomber? Now, it actually has a broken hitbox on the pipes. That being somewhere around two times bigger or nine times bigger, I can't remember which. Much more bigger than the stock pipes. So basically, you don't have to aim as well. You don't have to be Pipe Jesus as much. And... Very interesting, if I'm correct. You know, adding many of the missing kill icons. And, you know, much better network performance. Because, if you know, Team Fortress 2 is just poorly optimized. Let's just keep the hell real. <laughs> I just don't know why, but Valve did not update Team Fortress 2's optimization as well as they should. I mean, it was good for like 2007, 2008, but for 2020. No. Times have changed. You know, fixes the sound, and lots of other cool things, like, for example, I think, I remember seeing this one video on Mastercom's Twitter where it's just like, alright, so you have, you know, the front page of TF2, you're in the game, and, you know, you're gonna go start a match, but, you're on the front title page, let's keep it like that, and, you know, on the title page, you see random characters right there if you, you know, have stock HUD or any certain HUD. You know, for example, you see like a soldier. But, in this version, or in this, you know, mod, you can have your live player model. Which is cool as hell. <laughs> I am not gonna lie. I mean, you get to see your own player model on the top front screen like, oh my goodness. <laughs> but... Honestly, if you can, go support this project because whatever the people are doing, they're doing some great work. I can assure you that. And that's really all I have to say today, so I'm going to have to sign out. So, see y'all.